Hi, Jenny here. In this video, we are going to make peanut butter kiss cookies. Let's get started. All right, for this recipe, we need one cup of butter and then one cup of peanut butter, and we are going to mix that together. I'm along with actually one cup of sugar and one cup of brown sugar. Once you have it well mixed, you want to scrape off the beaters, get all the extra butter or whatever to mix up well in there, and you want to scrape down the sides, and then we'll be adding our eggs and vanilla. Alright, we need two eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla. Alright, so now we need three cups of flour. Put that in a measuring bowl and set that aside. And we need two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt. We'll mix that all up and then we'll slowly add it to our mixture. Alright, for these cookies what we're going to do is pinch off a portion of it and roll it up and you want to do about a one inch ball. We're just going to set those aside for right now. So we'll do our 12 to fill our tray. Alright, now with these cookies you can either leave them plain like they are and bake them like that, or you can add any type of sugared sprinkles to your cookies, any colors that you want. Um, for these that I'm making right now, I'm going to do a gold batch and a silver batch. I'm going to do one at a time, I'm going to make a whole other batch of cookies and I'm going to do the other color. So you just want to pour those out into a bowl, and then you'll take your cookies, and they should still be kind of wet so they will all stick to them, and you'll have a nice coated ball. So you're just going to do that with all of your cookies. And then you can bake them. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, for these cookies, when you pull them out of the oven, what you want to do is take one of your Hershey Kisses and push it right in the middle. And you want to do that pretty much right after you take them out of the oven. You don't want to wait too long or the cookies harden up and you're not going to really be able to get those in there. This way they melt just a little bit which helps them stick into the cookie for when you remove them from the tray. And I bought a big bag of Kisses. When you're doing cookies like these, you're not going to really care about what the wrappers look like. They do sell obviously the bags for the Christmas time with the pretty wrappers on there, but you're unwrapping them all, nobody's gonna see the wrappers. So just buy whatever uh, least expensive bag that you can. Alright, and then we move them off to our cooling rack. you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you like peanut butter kiss cookies at this time of the year I don't um, taste my cookies I know they're delicious
delicious, but I make Christmas boxes out of them. So until I box up everything, I will eat them till the end and then I eat the leftovers. So I'll enjoy them then. So I will link one of my other videos for you up there. And you can subscribe to me over there. Keep it positive and go make a great day. Bye bye. As per usual, my dog is drinking his water. He likes to stay hydrated, especially during my videos. <laughs>